Welcome everyone back to the channel and back to my property where we're having a, an unusually warm winter and enjoying that. I'm back out at the sawmill today with the Epic Saw Power Lift and I've had some questions about how fast is the power lift so I thought I'd just take a few minutes to talk about um, some of the things I've done to uh, improve the performance I'm getting on my, on my sawmill with the lift and then um, I thought we'd run a speed test and see how fast the uh, the lift really is. So what I'll be, what I'll be doing is I'll set the uh, lift into bump mode and we'll set that setting at 10 inches and then uh, we'll do a test going up and I'll run a timer up at the top so you guys can see that you know and then we'll be able to take whatever however many seconds we get and divide that by 10 to determine the uh, speed in um, Yes, in, per, in seconds, you know, so how many seconds per inch. And then uh, what I thought I'd do is uh, run the same test again going down. And I would expect the same, the same performance, you know, but let's just see if it's uh, a little faster when it's not under load, when the weight of the, the, the mill is pulling it down, or if it's just a controlled descent and it's uh, the same speed. I expect it will be the same speed, but uh, we'll run that test and see anyway. And uh, but before I before we do that, I thought I'd just talk about the uh, some of the things I did to the mill. So one of the things that's very important with the with the mill and with, with using the power lift is that your setup is square. And um, and if you think about that, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, if 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 between this post and the other post things are a little bit twisted or cockeyed, then it's going to bind trying to raise it up and trying to lower it down. And so th that would just put a lot of extra load on the lift. So it's important to to straighten that out. And one of the ways you can do that is to um, loosen all these bolts. So essentially, anywhere a uh, the the black metal meets the any of the post, you just need to loosen all those bolts on both sides, and then give it a give it a little shake and let it try to straighten itself out a little bit and settle down. And then um, for me, I made sure that I was square between the um, the two rails. And then, so then all I had to do was pull back and make sure that both posts were touching the end of the rails to, um, to make sure that they were also squared up with each other and then retighten everything down. So I did that. Also double checked uh, the cables to make sure that they were uh, both under the same tension, which uh, would also affect the level of your blade. But it's just good to check it because it kind of makes sense if that was out a little bit, then it, the, the whole thing would be a little bit cockeyed and be... Um, catching as it tried to go up you know and then the last thing I did that was uh, actually quite helpful is I took a carburetor cleaner and I cleaned the, the tops of these posts here and then I spray after I wiped them down and cleaned them I sprayed them with WD-40 silicon spray and I also also wiped those down with a separate rag and then I raised the whole lift up so that this bottom part was exposed and did the same thing cleaned it up with carburetor cleaner and then uh, sprayed this uh, WD-40 silicon spray on there and cleaned that up. So um, that seemed to help a lot, you know. And then um, in order to change the, the rate at which the lift goes in, that's where you go into the settings and you go to the lift rate and you set that up. So um, let me bring you guys a little bit closer here and I'll show you uh, the setting and the lift rate and how to get into that setting and change that. And then we'll go ahead and perform the test. So let me get the cameras set up. And I'll be right back with you guys. All right, I've got you guys set up a little bit closer to the uh, to the mill, so you can uh, see the re the readings and the readouts. And then, uh, so let me turn the the lift on. All right, so then we'll go into the uh, settings. You can see I've got the big bump set for 10 inches. If I go into settings here, we'll go down to the lift rate. And there we can see the lift rate is set for 240 currently. I, um, when I started it was, it was at 200. So um, just by uh, making some of the changes I did and cleaning those posts, I was able to get that a little higher. So let's uh, exit out of here. And then let's zero the lift. And then let's go down to the big bump mode. 
okay? And if you want to look too, I have the manual skill set for um, at the one inch mark. So when the test is done, it should be at the 11 inch mark. And then you can also see the numbers in the readout here. Okay, so let's run the test going up. All right, so that's that's the uh, up, and you should be able to see the number up there, and I'll do the quick calculation to find out how many uh, seconds per inch that is, and you'll see that on the screen there. And then let's go ahead and run the down test. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Uh, we did the uh, test, and I don't know if the exact numbers are. Uh, future me will know once I edit the, the video. But uh, in doing some tests earlier by myself with the uh, using my phone as a timer, I was noticing about six seconds per inch. So hopefully you guys saw something similar to that. Um, but um, I've been doing some videos now on the Epixaw Powerlift. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I'm looking forward to using it more and I'm learning more as I start using it. Um, I'd like to know what you guys think, you know, maybe you could leave a message in the comment, you know, is this something you'd be interested in getting for your saw? Um, if uh, there are things you don't like about it or things you'd like to know about it, uh, let me know in the comments, you know, I'd appreciate it. Maybe you have one for your saw already, you know, let me know what you think about it. So um, thanks for watching the video, like and subscribe, and I'll keep trying to bring you more content on the sawmill and uh, using the power lift. Thanks.